Hello, and welcome back to some Hearthstone Arena. Um, we are... What is today? The... Today is the 29th, so it has been a few days since I have played. I, last time I played was the day before Christmas Eve. Um, and I got busy with Christmas, and the day of Christmas, like, the well, the evening of Christmas, I got so sick. Like, the sickest I think I've ever been in my life. It was pretty harsh it was not a great time but today is about the first day that I I'm feeling like back to above like 90% you know so back in here recording I'm better now it was a rough couple days I will say that but I'm over it and hopefully you know I won't get sick for a while now that my immune system is all back in order if I remember right, we have a legendary in here, Leroy, good old Leroy, who I have yet to find in my uh, main deck, in any packs that I've gotten yet. Alright, we're going to get some mage here. Give you a little scary. Uh, Alright, so we'll be tossing you back, be tossing you back. I kind of want to toss him back because... He's a card that you want to use with other cards. If I'm remembering right, we don't have a ton of mechs, but he might be worth uh, tossing back. I think we're going to do it. Hopefully we get some cheaper stuff. I know this game's pretty mid-game, or this deck is pretty mid-gamey, as you can see with all the five cards. Five cost cards. <laughs> Another five cost card. Oh my gosh. So... In our next arena run, we're going to have to remember we need some cheaper stuff. It's good to have mid-game, but it's good to have some two drops. A nine drop, wow. I have to admit, you guys, I'm a little scared. <laughs> this this hand. I mean, once we get to five mana, we'll be, we'll be okay, but there's a lot that can happen between now and then me for two lose its stealth okay huge toad you're always like kind of coming out of nowhere and helping me out man have to say i'm a pretty big fan of mr toad here not that he's anything special but he kind of saved my butt a couple games well, this will be the second game he's kind of saved my butt from a huge costing hand She's thinking about something over there. She got mousing over quite a few cards. Forgotten Torch. Very good card. I had that in my last arena run. Well, my mage arena run. Anyway. Like, it's turn four, and all we're going to be able to do is make a token. That hurts. That really hurts. See what she does. Turn four is where you can kind of put down a pretty meaty beast. So if she doesn't do too, anything too crazy, I'll be pretty happy. Because then we're we're at our mana curve. Yeah, he's not that bad. I mean, he can be a little trolly, especially with the uh, I forget what it's called. But there's a card that boosts one attack minions. Uh. Stampeding Kodo is actually a great card here. He'll destroy one, uh, either one of those, and either one is fine with me, as far as being dead is concerned. I probably would have chose the Giblin, because he can hit that and kill it in one hit. And it has the Taunt. Alright, so next we're going to have six mana. Really, we're only going to be able to play one card unless we draw something else. Then we can throw Haunted Creeper in with it. What to do? What to uh, inspire. Do? She'll be able to heal. Put our 4 6 out. I kind of want to save him for when we have a spell to cast, but that's bitten me in the butt before trying to save a card for a better play. But, you know, so is Hearthstone. It's kind of do. the object of the game. Get your cards to synergize well. She's thinking. Oh, he runs out on me. 
Gonna use all her time here. That's fine. I use all my time all the time, so. Hmm. She's really torn. Sorcerer's you. Apprentice. You're gonna ping him and hit me for one? Alright. I'm thinking her logic there was I'm going to hit this. And then he'll be a 3-3, three, three, and then she'll kill it with her, maybe? I don't know. But I'm thinking I'm going to hit that. He'll be a 3-3. Three, three. I'll put her out. He'll be back up to a 3-5. I'll be mm. up to 25 hit points. Seems pretty good. The only other thing I could really see doing that would be worthwhile would be putting her out and the Haunted Creeper. It's not very mana efficient, and I'm pretty sure this is a better play. We still do have one mana left, but... You know, you can't use all your mana every time. Now what, she got a spell with her spell? Sorcerer's Apprentice, I mean. Really thinking about it. Well, next turn, we'll be able to play a five cost and our haunted creeper here. Ooh, the blizzard. Not gonna take anything out. Okay. I guess you can always do it your next turn because they're frozen. Uh. I'm kind of thinking the raider and put a token out. Her board isn't built up that much. So putting him out would be okay. Nothing out there that can kill him instantly. Mm. She could always have a spell, but, you know, so is mage. It's good. <laughs> um, could put him out and the silverhand regent. But she will get a one-cost minion from this hungry dragon, so... I like to only play him when I have something that's going to be able to kill that one cost minion. You know, it doesn't work what out every time, think? but... Alright, so we're going to go with the Raider and the Token. Bump him up to 6-6. Six, six. Put a 1-1 one, one out there. I'm assuming she's going to kill uh, one of these two, but we'll see. Oh, you know what? She could have the flame strike. I wasn't even thinking about the flame strike. And she could actually play it for six mana. Hmm. Do you have the flame strike? I'm not gonna lie, it would hurt pretty bad if you have the flame strike. I should have thought about that before I played, but you know, you forget about stuff like that. Certain cards. Because then if we had the Haunted Creeper out, at least its Death Rattle would put out two one ones. Is power. She and doesn't I appear to have the Flame Strike. You're out, okay. Runs out on me. And you're gonna ping something? Would boost him up. Probably gonna kill him though with our 6-6. Six, six. I got my 1-1. One, one. Understandable. Uh, what I think I'm gonna do now is I'm going to kill that with our 6-6. Six, six, and he'll be a 6-3 then. And then I'm gonna put out the Hungry Dragon. Kill the one-cost minion that comes out with our Kodo. And then we'll still have four mana left and we'll go from there. You know, play our Hungry Dragon. Alright, Void Walker is not, not too scary. And the Trog, I'm thinking the Trog. It'll survive the Flame Strike. It will grow from the Flame Strike if she draws it. Plus, it uses all of our mana. Very nice. So we got quite the lineup on our side for 
our eighth turn. It's not too bad. We got a 5-6 out there, 6-3. A Trog with the potential to grow. A Kodo to take out any riffraff. You know, any low mana riffraff anyway. Wonder. He's done his job. He took out his, he took out his two attack minion and took out a 1-3. Ah, you also have a gorilla bot. Uh, okay, that that was that was a little scary, but we survived it. Um, I have my own here, and I don't believe I have any other mechs. Do I have a mech out here? No. All right. What we're gonna do here is that I'm pretty sure needs to go. So we could crack in it. Oh, Plus, we'd have a nine seven out there. I'm pretty sure that's what we're gonna do. Just take him out with the Kraken. And his thing is only a battle cry. So I think beating our opponent down here is a little better. Will kind of suck if she gets the flame strike though. Should I just kill it with the hungry dragon? Move quickly. Nah, let's hit her. Putting her below half hit points, so. And you know, our Kraken will be alive from the Flame Strike. She would be able to kill it with a Gorilla Bot, though. <laughs> Alright, so we got the Antique Heal Bot. Put her back up above half. Another one of those things. Keeps almost killing things, but not quite. I might have her... I'm not... Let her finish her turn, and then I'll do the math. Yeah, because... Didn't know who she was going to kill there. So I think... Yeah, we got 20 points of damage, plus we had Leroy in our hand. We had that one in the bag. Alright, so we got our second win. We will do another game. Alright, sorry about that cut there. I got a phone call. I swear, every time I record Hearthstone, I get a phone call. And it's only Hearthstone. Well, that's not true. But it is while I'm recording. <laughs> um... We're trying to get some more stuff done to our upstairs. We're installing new doors and stuff, and I had to talk about that for a minute. Another mage. Is it the same mage? Not the same mage. Uh, I am glad to see you, Silverhand Regent. That is for sure. And we got a Yeti. Very happy to see you, Darkseal Healer. We got a bit of a mana curve here that I can work with. She's still thinking over there. I need to change my card back, but I, I love this card back. It was like the first Halloween card back they gave. Uh, the Dragon Key, we got a still. We got the mana curve going on. Three, four, five, six. We will be making a token next turn unless we draw our huge toad. Who I have grown very fond of. I like that card. <laughs> Maybe I will craft them. I think they're commons, though, so... You know, as soon as you craft a common, you get, like, ten copies every time you open a pack. Ooh. That guy is a little worrisome. If she's got any kind of mech, it's gonna be annoying. Yeah. Snow Chugger, just who I thought it would be. <laughs> That's how it goes. She's a 3-3, three, three, yes. We will put her out. The battle. And I suppose we will hit the mage. Um, when he first came out, I thought he was crap. Like when goblins and gnomes first came out. Forgotten Torch. Everybody has that freaking card nowadays. It's a good card, though. I'd definitely take it. I did take it. Um, did what I thought he did. Use his Cogmaster to kill our 3-3. Three, three. 
We are going to put out our Sinjin Shield Master, though. Takes both of her minions to get through him. And he kills both minions if, uh, if they attack him. So as long as she doesn't have a spell here that can kill him, a Frost Bolt would do it. Finally, a second chance. Uh, that's a bit annoying, because now she can just use her Cog Master. And she's got me down to two-thirds life already. Ooh, I really want to use this to get rid of something out there. But... I need to kill some of her stuff, but I need to get stuff out on the board. Hmm. We could put the Dark Scale Healer out there. She'd heal me too, which isn't nothing to sneeze at at this point in time, being a third of my hit points down. Uh, she's a 4-5, you know, she can kill anything out on the board, and she would die to the, those two, though. Hmm. Uh, what else could we do? Hammer of Wrath, the Snow Chugger? I don't know, we don't really need the card right now. The Piloted Shredder wouldn't be bad to get out there. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with Dark Scale because she heals me, she uses our mana, and it takes both her creatures to kill her. Unless, of course, uh, she gets some kind of spell. The sound is a little loud to me. Uh, Clockwork Knight. Still... Yeah, you're gonna hit me. That's what I figured because, uh... It would die against her without killing her. Mechanical Yeti. Got a 5-5 five five out there. Alright, we're at 6 mana. Do 3 damage to him, but that's not that great. I wonder. Alright, I think we're gonna use her to kill him. She kills him but gets to stay alive. She is frozen now, but not much I could do about that. And... I think I need to... Well, I want to play my 6-6, six, six kind of, because we've got to have something to combat that. And I think we're going to do it. She's an awful long way from 15 hit points, so let's go with our 6-6. Six, six. Move quickly! I guess hit her again. It's not much point of pinging anything out there. Except for maybe the clockwork. I, d I don't know. Maybe I should have pinged the clockwork on the off chance that our uh, dark scale would be able to take him out with her four attack points. But I don't know. That's, that's far from foolproof. That's for sure. What to do? What to do? Next turn we'll have seven mana, so Sometimes so die. ancient mage. Ugh, that's a little scary, actually. That's a lot of spell power for a mage to have. I am below ten hit points. I forgot her hero power was doing two damage here. All right, Leroy, that is actually not too bad. But I was thinking Hammer of Wrath that, and then kill the Clockwork. Is she going to still have that, though? I just have three mana left. All I'd be doing is making a token. That's so horrible. Uh, I think we might have to, though, because... We gotta get this damage off the board. Her hero power doing an extra damage isn't helping anything. I wonder. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so we drew our sword. That could help, but we're awfully, awfully low to be hitting things with swords. Our dark scale will finally become unfrozen. I don't know, this one isn't looking good. <laughs> one fireball and I'm done. Ugh, that's not great either. Gonna just hit me for two. Gonna take out my dark scale. Alright. See what we 
get? Alright, the Dragon Consort. So it looks like we're going to be using Leroy and the Dark Scale to get rid of the 9-9. And... I have three mana left. I have no... Okay, I have to remember not so much mid-game when I draw next time. Let me think. Because all this mid-game right now is just, like, it's too expensive, and it's not helping. <laughs> uh, alright, so let's Leroy. Probably laughing right now. I have to waste my Leroy on a six-mana card. And take out his 1-1s one here. Make our own 1-1 one -one for what it's worth. I feel like I have the volume <laughs> really high. And well played. Yeah, well played. Someday I'll be just like Okay, you. you got the fireball or something? Ah, dragon's breath, that'll do it. Well, oh, I'd be I'd li be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed in this arena run. I got like what was it? Two wins? Didn't even break even? Very disappointing. Had a legendary in my deck. I every time you get a legendary in your deck, it I don't want to say it's a bad omen, but like, I don't know. You never do well. <laughs> Maybe it's the pressure. I don't know. I think it's just my skill, but you know, it's okay. A lot of RNG going on too. Uh, we got two here. What, let's see what we get. Un Ooh, Unleash the Hounds. Common card. And a deck. Yeah, that wasn't a great arena run. Definitely lost out there. We'll open our pack. It's a common pack, too. They're going to give me a new one. Alright, so we got a rare. It's a common. Scarlet Crusader. Monty Berserker. Golden Common. Flame Imp. I don't think I have a Golden Flame Imp. He's pretty cool looking. What's our rare? Sunwalker. Actually, pretty good. Uh, or she used to be, anyway. I don't know what she's like in the current environment. I haven't played with her in a while. And I... She might be my first one, to be honest. I'm not sure. But that was our Paladin uh, Arena run. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to ask you for a like for this run. It didn't go that well. But, you know, if you want to see a new run, subscribe. And I will see you back next time in the arena.